making money from it and didn't go looking for it at conferences. It found them. Here in London's Harley Street, therapist Vera Diamond, who makes it clear that she is not a Christian, has been treating an increasing number of people who claim to have been victims of ritual abuse. A member of the National Council of Psychotherapists, she's been practicing for over 20 years. She agreed to take part in a reconstruction of a therapy session with an actress based on tape recordings of a patient reliving hidden experiences that have been buried deep within the psyche, often for years. Everybody that I'm working with who claims to have been damaged in this particular satanic way is suffering from what we call post-traumatic stress disorder. And that means often being cut off from reality, being absolutely terrified for most of their life. We are talking about terrorism. We know that the brain unloads material and memories in a specific way. It starts with the kind of material that you can cope with, and it gets into the more difficult material to handle. So that there's a progression about the way they tell you things. And the interesting thing is that over the last five or six years, I'm hearing the same stories again and again, with slight variations, but the same things are happening, the same rituals, the same killings, the same shock, shock, shock to the system. Is there any way that any of this could be faked by your clients? I don't think you can fake, and I have checked with doctors, you can't fake going white, going absolutely icy cold, um, seeing people's backs go into spasm, seeing people relive ECT, for example, they jerk, and they don't know what is happening to them. Very often when this material emerges, in a relaxation technique, things occur and they do not recognize immediately what's happening to them. We make sense of it as the whole material comes out. For some survivors.